Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you how to download and install uh, the Steam VR Wheel program and how to configure it for Seto Corsa. So let's begin. First you want to go open the first link in the description. This is uh, the download for VJoy. It is a, fi or is a program that will take our inputs from the uh, headset and uh, feed it into the Steam VR Wheel program. So you just want to go to Files, Beta, Download the latest release here. Once you've downloaded this, I already have. You can open up File Explorer. Go to your Downloads folder. And run the installer. Alright, now that it's done installing, we want to open up our Start menu. We scroll all the way down to V for VJoy and we want to configure VJoy. Now here you want to make sure your number of buttons is set to 32 and you've enabled all your axes. Once that's done you can hit apply here and then you can close this tab. Now our next step is to go to the GitHub page for Steam VR Wheel right here. Uh, right here where it says releases, I want to click on that. Now, the developer of this tool has some notes about the program and some additional installation instructions uh, where you can configure your inputs depending on which controllers you have. But all you want to do is scroll down here, click on the zip file right here, and then download it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just not going to do that. Now, go to our downloads folder. Open up the Steam VR Wheel zip file. I want to extract that somewhere safe. I'm just going to throw it on my desktop. And yeah. Now, at this step, we want to make sure we have Steam VR running and we want to make sure our headset is connected. So, I'm going to go do that right now. Alright, so here I am. I've got Steam VR running and I've got my headset connected right now, my Quest 2. Uh, now what you'd want to do is you'd open up your Steam VR wheel right here, run the steamvrwheel.bat file, and once it does that, yeah, you should be good to go. We can even scroll down back to VJoy, click monitor VJoy, and this will show us all the inputs for our controller right here we are going to go and configure it for a set of Corsa. So first you want to open up Content Manager, you want to go to, to a set of Corsa, go to the Video tab, and set your rendering mode to OpenVR. Even if you have an Oculus headset, still set it to OpenVR. Now, here you can choose whichever resolution, it will just scale up into VR. Um, personally, I have my Quest 2 running at this resolution, uh, 3264 by 1648. However, my main display is actually 1920 by 1080, and uh, if it tries to run at a higher resolution than that, then it will just bug out. So um, if you have a GPU that can do it, then just set it to 1920 by 1080, and I'm just going to set the refresh rate to 90 hertz. Um, but once you do that, click Save Preset. Instead of overriding your normal preset, just go and uh, add VR to the end of it, uh, and then save it there. Now I'm not going to do this since I already have that, but yeah, it's just so you can easily switch between your desktop and your VR settings. Also, depending on your graphics card, I would uh, recommend changing some of these settings down, so like overall quality, you know, post-processing here, none of this really needs to be disabled. But like overall world details, yeah, you can lower that. Smoke generation, you can lower that. Shadow res, definitely lower that. Reflections, you can lower that and turn that off uh, entirely if you want. But yeah, that's just if you're running something like a 1650 or if you just want extra frame rate. Um, I have a 1070, so eh, I can push stuff, but I like better frame rates. Now I'll go down to controls. And here's where you're going to set up the VR wheel binds. So first, select the wheel. And on steering, 
you're going to click this, and you're going to steer using both controllers. And the way this works is you grip on both controllers, and then you rotate them. And as you can see here, uh, yeah, it's working on the axes. Um, I have the degrees here set to 900, and actually in SteamVR Wheel you can run a configurator where you uh, can also set the degrees of rotation in there. I have no clue how which one influences the other and by how much, but yeah, you can uh, fiddle with that. I have my degrees here set to 900, and in the SteamVR Wheel I've just set it to 400. Um, throttle. You know, just set these to whichever binds you want. And a uh, clutch, you know, is here. Um, does not want to assign an input here. And that's because you actually have to go into buttons and then assign everything in here. So, shifters. I'm going to set my next gear to the top button on my right controller. Previous gear to the bottom one. If we scroll, we go over to patch, actually. And uh, here you can set your clutch. So I'm gonna set this to the top button on my uh, left controller. Oh yeah, 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 it's, uh, it's over here in buttons. I'm just gonna set this to the uh, bottom button on my controller. And uh, now that that's all done, you can click Save Preset and then just add VR at the end. I, of course, have already done this, so I'm not going to do that. And uh, last but not least, the custom shaders patch. Um, there's some settings here that I'd just like to go over. So first of all, keep in mind there's a lot of uh, lot of settings here that actually don't really apply to VR. So like if you go into extra FX, it says uh, for now it only works for single screen in VR. So just just read through everything uh, before you enable it for VR. But um, primarily what you want to look at is in graphics adjustments. Um, here you can set AMD Fidelity FX or FSR. So you can actually upscale or run the game at a lower res and then upscale it to a higher resolution, which is very, very handy for VR. So I'm just going to set mine to uh, ultra quality for now. Now, do keep in mind um, there's another setting in mode tweaks uh, called single pass stereo, and this does not work with FSR, it says right here. So that, again, that's why I said, make sure that the settings you're enabling are compatible in VR. Um, so yeah, once you do that, again, you can save it to your VR preset. I'd recommend just going through disabling everything and then enabling what you need to, and then setting that at, uh, to your VR preset. But once you've got all of your binds set up, um, yeah, you should be able to hop in game and it'll all work. So now that you have everything installed, I am now going to show you just the general pipeline of how to launch everything uh, once you want to go in again. So first, connect your headset into SteamVR and have that running. Then open up your SteamVR wheel.bat and then run it. Now once it says left and right hands found and selecting default, uh, you can just minimize that and go into Content Manager and just make sure your binds or your presets are all set to your VR, VR presets because sometimes I'll accidentally have my controls set to my PC controls and that kind of sucks. And then yeah, you can go in and you can go start driving. Alright, here we are in VR. Um, as you can see the camera's a little wonky. If you just hold Control and Space, it will reset your VR view. Uh, yeah, I have the uh, Lexus LFA, like I had in the original video, and I am playing on the Highlands map right now. Still not used to the steering yet, as you can see. Oh, and I crashed. Did not follow the advice of that slow sign. 
So uh, keep in mind when you're uh, when you max out the steering, um, your controllers will vibrate. So you have to like hold it and re-steer it the other way around. So even if I steer it like all the way like this, it's not going to reset on its own. So you have to like steer it the other way. So it can be disorientating at times. Uh, that happens. This is my favorite part of this map. Big old lake on your left. And you're hauling ass down this road. It's the best. Well, if you guys found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like the video. You may give me a subscribe. Uh, I might do more tutorials like this in the future or showcase how to uh, install and stuff different types of software. But yeah. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any information that might be useful, um, then feel free to, or, you know, useful to other people, like any tweaks or any, uh, tips, then feel free to leave a comment, and I will pin your comment, and might even, uh, include a summary of all the information people have given in the, uh, description. And I might end up remaking this video, so, but yeah, yeah. hope you guys enjoyed it.